So this goniometer that we've used for the elbow and the forearm and the wrist is really not going to work except for the thumb. And we looked at the other video how you can use this one for the thumb. But very often, therapists will use one of these three finger goniometers. And I want you to look at the difference between these three. And what do you see is different here? So notice that these two, the, um, the arm is perpendicular to the um, measuring scale. But on this one, it's parallel to it. So this is going to make a difference because <clears throat> On these goniometers, you can just lay them very easily on the back of the hand, on the dorsum of the hand. But on this one, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to actually be holding it up. Now, let's look at another thing. What do you notice when you look at these three goniometers versus this one? Okay, this one, the two arms will lie completely flat. On this one, the two arms will lie, and these will lie completely flat, but you've got this space in here and in here. And the purpose of this is that these goniometers can measure hyperextension, whereas this, when they're flat, it's at zero. But here, when it's at zero, this is up here. So if someone has some hyperextension like this, you can measure me the goniometer will fit right in there and measure up to 20 degrees of hyperextension. So you can see that will work with, it works even with this one because it will just lay in, well, actually it doesn't work with this one because the surface is flat, it's got the movement here, but it only works if it was alongside of it which is the same way you would be using this one. If we had some hyperextension at the little finger, I'd be able to lay this one on the side. I'd be able to lay this one on the side. But with these, I'd be able to have it right there on top of the finger. So if you, have, if you only have a goniometer like this and you want to measure hyperextension, you would have to go from the palmar surface. But when you have these with the cutout, you're able to measure hyperextension from the dorsal surface. The other thing about these three is they've been cut. They're real short. So unlike the other video where you saw that I had one like this, but I had to keep turning it around so I knew which end was the short end or the long end so it wasn't hitting anything, these have very short ends, so you shouldn't have that problem. Okay, thank you.